Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kentucky Garden Gal. This is Nancy, and this is Thrifting Thursday. And I am very excited about today's treasures because I just found some things that I really, really like. So let's get started with this week's, with this week's video, and I'll show you what I bought and how much I paid for it. So everything that you see here, plus I have one additional item over on the counter that's too big. Um, I paid $39 because it was 38 and change, but I round up. They do have an, an option at Goodwill where you can round up and it helps provide something uh, for some of their programs. So I always try to do that. But look at these hand painted wine glasses. There are eight of them, and you know I'm a chicken keeper, so you know I'm going to like anything with birds, but these are the most adorable hand-painted wine glasses. I paid 59 cents each for them. Let's see if I can find one with a tag. I didn't de-sticker them. I'm not, oh, here's one. 59 cents each. I could hardly believe my eyes when I saw the price, and then I could hardly believe my eyes when I found eight. There were six together in one place, and then I found two more uh, later on browsing the store. And then I came across this tray. The tray was three, uh, $2.99, $3. So I went ahead and picked that up because I thought that is just perfect. Um, now I will display these at Christmas time. It's pretty un it's pretty unlikely that I'll use these because I really don't want to wash them and remove any more of the paint. I just think that they are so beautiful. But I'll tell you what I will do. I'll put some greenery in here and decorate it just a little bit, and it will actually be a really pretty uh, display. For Christmas and I paid let's see three four five six seven dollars and then what I put the greenery that I put I'll just go out and gather that from the uh, from my garden so yeah I was pretty happy with that so the next thing that I came across was this coffee cup again it was 59 cents you can see um, see the price tag there I'm not gonna move it because it's supporting these uh, DVD or CDs but it's St. Simon Island, Georgia, and there's no chips, there's no cracks. This is a good, heavy, heavy cup to drink coffee out of, but I actually vacationed, had the um, good fortune to vacation on Sea Island many, many years ago, and I stayed at the Cloisters Hotel, and I'll put a picture up because it is just absolutely beautiful, but I did visit uh, St. Simon's Island, and that's just a really nice reminder of that, and I also bought a print at the hotel of the uh, of the hotel. And if I remember correctly, I think I paid a hundred and twenty-five dollars for a unframed print. Um, and I, but I'll, uh, you know, I'll have something else to go with that memory. So moving on, I found uh, two DVDs that are, are CDs that we can use when we're traveling. This one is a Victorian Sunday, and um, I think we've looked up the uh, price of these on Amazon, and these are still these are still holding their price. But I paid ninety nine cents for this one, and then that's Bonnie Raitt. I like her. I did find this. Uh, there's a glare. I did find this for Cameron. It's unrated, so I will watch it first before um, before I give it to him. But he does like John Cena. Cena. This little thing, I paid $1.99 for, and it is for uh, fruits and uh, cheeses. But it also would be for Christmas, and I'll just keep that in the package and, you know, put it, put it up for Christmas, and then I'll be able to gather that back out. Along with some Christmas cards, I found some beautiful Christmas cards it says they were originally $30, $7.50. I paid $2.99, and I did count them. They are all in there. 
And what I like to do sometimes is, um, especially like if I'm giving Christmas gifts to neighbors, I will put the card in with the gift. And, you know, these are beautiful cards, so that's probably what I'll do with that. This I am so excited about. This copper top birdhouse. It is just absolutely beautiful. And the funny thing is, um, at the farm where uh, we're going to have a little outdoor kitchen, there's a post back there. And I was thinking, I really need a birdhouse for that post. Now, it'll be, it's under cover, so it'll stay nice. But that is just going to be so adorable back there. And what makes it so attractive, of course, is this copper roof. So I found these salt shakers. They were $1.29 each, and they're stainless steel. And what I really, really like about these, I thought I would uh, buy them that we could use outside. I usually have a, a set that I have in the house and then a set that you know I'll take outside when we barbecue. But the entire bottom screws off of this so you can clean it. And I'm really excited about that because you know I can just get these I can get these really nice and clean. So we see this little hot plate for a rooster. I just thought I had to have that. That was 59 cents. So I got that. And I always uh, just kind of look through the clothing if I have time. And I found these um, Kim Rogers pajamas. And the reason I got them, they're, they're $2 a piece, a piece. They sell them by the piece, not as a set. They are so soft. They are the softest uh, pajamas. It reminds me of a company that we used to buy pajamas from. It was called Whispers, and they were just the softest pajamas. And then the store that sold them went out of business, so we weren't able to get those anymore. But I think I'm really going to enjoy these. And then I found this little, um, I have my laptop at the farm, and I'm just not a fast laptop user. So I was thinking, I need to get a mouse. And I, you know, it doesn't need to be wireless, but I picked this one up for 99 cents. So I'm happy to have that. And then look at this lamp. You all know I cannot turn down a beautiful lamp in this just everything. This is such an elegant lamp that you could, it's not very tall, you could just tuck into a shelf. I'll probably take this home to Franklin and use it, but it was $5.99. So I was very happy. I think I especially liked the lamp, the hand-painted wine glasses, and the copper top birdhouse. I just thought that those three things were just were so pretty and of course uh, this was was a need you know this is very functional salt and pepper shakers are very functional and then I'll show you one last thing um, is a shoe rack and I paid $2.99 for the shoe rack and I was trying to do some organi organizing here at the farm and I was like Boy, I really do need a shoe rack. And I walk up to the Goodwill store and it's they have some items out on the sidewalk and it's literally sitting right there, exactly what I needed. So I'm so thrilled to have that. And before I go, I wanted to show you one thing that I was not aware of. Remember this fruit topiary that, uh, that I had in a previous video? When I went to put it up, which this is upside down, let me do it this way. I had never looked on the bottom of this. I knew that it was high quality. The original price was $70 marked down to $48.99. Can you even believe that? I was just absolutely shocked. So as you can see, I have it there on the, uh, the counter. This I bought from a, a Facebook Marketplace for $25. I bought the utensil, the uh, Piney Roman utensil station, plus the little towel holder. And I also bought this. I've had this for a while. I'm trying to remember how much I paid for it, but I use this thing all the time, the night block. So I just wanted to show you that I absolutely do use the things that I pick up 
from Goodwill, of course, I sanitize them. But, you know, just about everything that I decorate with comes, comes from thrifting. I definitely could not go to Belk and pay $50 for this. There's, I mean, there's just no way I could do that. So, I'm very grateful to have it. And um, I hope this has encouraged you all to get out and look for things. And if you're doing a project, consider thrifting to do that project, no matter, you know, what it is. If it's, if you're redecorating or an outside project or something for your kid's room or whatever you're doing, consider thrifting. But I appreciate you watching this video and we have just had a large number of new subscribers. If you're one of them, thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing to my channel. And for those who've been with me all along this journey, I appreciate you being with me and hanging in there, even though I had a rough couple of two years and couldn't really dedicate much time to my channel. But things are better now and we will be coming out with a video um, Sunday and it'll be March gardening chores. So if you have a garden, if you do any type of gardening and you're wondering what you can be doing, check back on Sunday. I'll have a new video out and I appreciate you for watching. Have a great day.